Hey y'all, Jessica here at Just Give Me Jesus. Today I'm showing you a spread in my, what I call a commonplace journal. And here I'm taking a Faith at Society stamp and um, adding some Bray, Bria, Bray, I don't really know how to say it in Southern, but Bree Reese um, texture paste with the stencil and drying it with my little dryer gun. And then I just took some Distress Oxide and um, rubbed it on the page and spritzed some water and then took that little empty packaging and squished it all over. I like to squish Distress Oxide. I think it makes it really pretty and neat. So more squishing, adding a little more of the pinky color. Uh, it, it's not just pinky. It was um, worn lipstick. Worn lipstick and frayed burlap were the two colors that I used on this page. And now I'm taking the Lindy's uh, Stamp Gang Magical Shakers and I'm using Oom Pa Pa Pink, which is my favorite color in it. It's amazing and I'm not even a pink person, but I love that color in it. And I also, um, and I spritzed, I sprinkled it on that te dried texture paste and um, then sprayed water on top of that and then I'm just drying that because I'm going to go back with grab a guy gold and add um right here in the texture paste also and then spritz that with water and I just it's so fun when you spritz it with water because it kind of does its own thing and you just never know exactly what it's going to do or what little colors are going to pop up and it's got that pretty base color but there are always these other little secret colors in there that are so pretty and then here I'm just kind of playing with some different things. And I end up using a tea bag, literally a used tea bag. And that's an old piece of a magazine. No special significance. It just was on my desk. And I took the Neo Color 2 crayon. And I don't remember what color it was. But a color on it. Kind of watered it down just to give it a different background color. And these are some die cuts I cut with my Cricut. So I'm just kind of playing around with those to see what I want to do. And here I want to use the new stamps from Faith It Society because they're pretty awesome and it's such a neat alphabet. And I took an old piece of, I think, cardstock and sprayed it with Lindy's Starburst sprays. And this was Shabby Turbine Teal. It's really pretty. I think that's the color I used. We're going to go with that. Yeah, Shabby Turbine Teal. It's kind of a minty color, but it's more teal than minty. And I stamped with the Stays On ink. I stamped the word Pray. Um, and then that was a bag my son gave me um, that he got at school. And he just thought it would look pretty in my journal. So I thought it was so sweet. And I took that little butterfly die cut. And I didn't like that it didn't have a body. So I'm adding a little body to it. And I always add thread to almost everything I do because I just like that one extra little element and texture that it brings out when I have a little collage. Um, and I always tend to do a collage kind of in a corner or on the side of a page and do one um, to anchor the page. I feel like it just gives the page what it needs. And so then I, I love masking tape too. So I added masking tape to just several different parts or pieces. Um, oh, and then I pulled out these Faith at Society stamps, and I'm just using a little dotted line because I thought the page needed it, and I liked it. Again, I like to add just different little pieces of texture, different places. Um, it just adds so much to a page when you add just a few little pieces, and I do it in threes because I just think it looks good. There's no rhyme or reason to much I do. Um, and I went around that little butterfly with an um, all pencil. Isn't that right? Yeah, a Stabilo all pencil in gray just to add some dimension to it and make it stand out a little more. Because I like I like it when that happens. And those are the Col Colero, if I'm saying that right, um, metallic paints. They're watercolor, but they're not completely see-through, but that's okay. It adds so much dimension 